Hi everybody, how are you? This is Annette Calfon. Welcome to my channel. Today you are going to learn new technique. Tell me something. Do you want to draw like a pro? Okay. Do you want everybody to be shocked from your drawing? Well, if the answer is yes to both questions, so you come to the right place. So let's dive in. So you are going to learn today how to trace a photo using tracing paper technique. I use Dale Roney clear translucent paper, ideal to trace and transfer images, size 9 by 12 inch. Step 1. The first thing that I'm doing is to choose the right image that I want to transfer. Right image I mean that you choose an image that it's easy for you to draw, you like the position of the face and you think it's going to be comfortable to draw it. Next, I place the image on the computer screen and then I tap the tracing paper on the screen of the computer parallel to the image I chose before. Make it simple and easy to understand. Let's take the screen of the Mac and choose the mountain. Now we are going to take the tracing paper on the top of the mountain and we are going to start to outline the mountain with a simple pencil. Now we're going towards the fourth step and this is very important because when we are outlining we have to take under consideration a few things. Try to be as much as accurate when you're doing the outline of the image. Then try to measure the distance between the feature of the face and take under consideration the values, the shadows and the lights on the image and outline it with shapes. As you see in the picture, I wouldn't worry about details in this time and we can do it always later. Now you know the first step, how to trace a photo using tracing paper technique. Using this technique will help you later to draw freehand. You're going to recognize the place of every feature of the face and it's going to be much much easier. You won't need this tracing paper technique. Now we have the images, outline, shadows, highlights, the details that you wanted to add and now we want to transfer this onto the paper. So how are we going to do this? Let's see. Turn the paper with the image we transferred to the other side and start to color them with uh, let's say 4B pencil or 6B pencil make it like light dark that when you're going to draw the image later it's going to transfer to the paper so first we're going to color the images in the back of this see what I'm doing I'm just drawing where the lines are that is going to be easier for me to recognize the places to see the size, to see the distance. Don't worry about details. After this, you can look and do the same thing. But when you have the accurate size, possibly that this is gonna be the real portrait that you're going to draw. When you finish both images, turn it back and put it in the place you want the drawing to be. And now you start to draw it again. I want to mention that it's better if you take this tracing paper on the page. I didn't do it, so I had to hold it with my hand. But if you're trying to do this, just tape it that the page is not going to move and then you're not going to put the, page, the, the line on the right place. It's very important. 
that it's not gonna move because otherwise all the work that you did until now it's not gonna worth it okay so now we are transferring the image that we trace onto the paper in this way I'm going to speed it up now to go to the next steps because now you can see exactly what I'm doing you can see do the same thing and you won't be disappointed suddenly you're going to see your skills improve doing few like this you're going to be able to trace the, the image only with looking at the image and drawing it meaning without tracing now it's like starting to draw from, from the beginning I'm going to an empty page and start to go through the lines but I'm keeping my eye always with the original photo shapes 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 try to look for shapes doesn't matter what kind of shapes shapes make the pictures you know I really would like to see the results of your drawing don't be shy just pass it over and I want to see what come up and uh, let me see if I can help you and tell you what to do to achieve better drawing and I do want you to improve your skills so it's not happen overnight uh, you think to, tra to transfer the image from photo with tracing paper it's just gonna make it like a magic no you have to have some kind of skills to do the rest of the job so let me help you if you come up with any problem give ask questions and I'm, re I'm here to answer all your questions don't be shy I'm here to help you now I'm drawing the images slowly slowly building the values the shadows the highlights trying to see where is the cheeks where is the eyes what lines are appears what shapes around the face and just doing it I thought it's going to be a good idea to add the, the American Eagle so I just draw an eagle in between them as you see, this is without any tracing. Um, slowly, slowly I'm building the image, trying to give this position that will fit in between the two heads. I used the same tracing technique I show you to draw the elephant and the donkey. And now I'm placing it, each of them, to the candidate that it belongs to and keep building the image, the drawing, the picture that I want to see and I'm thinking what else I can add that can be fit so I thought maybe I'm going to put the flag in the back of them it's going to be perfect and that's what I did and this is how I did it just put it li putting lines after this I'm going to color it and it's going to look different If you benefit from this class, if you understand what I taught till now and you like it and you think you grow, you learn something, please leave me a comment and tell me about this and also if you want me to teach you something that you see in the picture and you want me to show you how to, leave it also in the comment and I'll try my best.
after I finish drawing, I'm going to color the picture because I thought it's nicer to color this and with different kinds of pencils, basically the Prismacolor. Uh, but I'm going to let you enjoy it because the subject of this class already was spoken and now I just want to show you the rest of the video. Enjoy speed drawing. Thank you. 